Okay, so this is quite a demanding research question. The question is, explain how the psychologist would have obtained the male participants for her stratified sample and show your calculations. So it is quite demanding. So let's go back to the STEM. Right, first of all, it's asking us to zoom in on just the male participants, which, which lots of students will just miss completely. So we know that in this stratified sample, we need 20 people. So that's going to be very relevant. She obtained the sample from a company employing 60 men and 40 women. So conveniently, we've got 100 in our target population and we need a stratified sample of 20. So we need that in proportion. Here again, we've been asked to just find out how and, and, and state how she's going to get the male participants for that. So if we go down to the calculation, um, basically the first thing we've got to do is calculate 60% of the sample we need, which is 20. Okay, we've got 60% of 60 males, 40 females in the company. We need 20 participants, and obviously because it's a stratified sample, that means we've got to make them um, find them in proportion to the amounts they exist in the target population in this particular company. So 60% of them are male, and we need to work out 60% of the total number in our sample, which would be 20. So 60% of 20 is going to be 12. So that's the first thing we've got to do, and you show your show how you've calculated that. Um, and then we've got two methods we can use. We can either use this hat method, or we can use a computer generated method. Right? If it's hat method, yes, you can put all the sixty names, all the sixty, and making sure that you are stressing that. Without that, you're not going to get the credit. So all sixty male names in a hat, and then you would pull out maybe the first twelve, and you would say you would literally use the first 12 names that are pulled out. Okay, So again, you need to be using numbers. If you decide to use the computer generated, you don't put all the names in a computer. You just assign on your list of the 60 men, you, you assign each of them a number, and you then get the computer to generate however, number, however many number you need, which in this case is 12. Okay, because you've already shown your calculation of where we've got 12 from. So you then get the computer to generate the first 12 names, let's say, and you're saying that you would use those first 12 males.